Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan. Today we're going to do a two-for-one deal. It actually features Cup. We have G1 Cup. This is Transformer C82 Cup, actually known as Char. Char, I don't know why they call him Char here. And Transformer Collection number 20 with Wheelie and this Target Master Recoil. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. First, I'm going to just show you the both boxes because I'm just featuring good old Char. Sorry, Cup. I don't know why the Japanese call him Char, but hey, even though... I just want to show you, this is a cool collection. I got this uh, for, mint, for a very nice price. It comes with wheelie, sorry to say, but what can I say? Uh, I want to just show you the artwork by good old Yuki Oshima. It's, all right, real quick, just like in the front cover. You got a quick spec of the Pretenders and some other series. And they got a lot of Pretenders, that's okay. Thundercracker for some, oh, sorry, Skywarp. Actually, he was released, uh, I just went and bashed them earlier, so I'm not going to go too much on that. That's the 2003 edition. Yeah, that waste of plastic wheelie, and of course, nice artwork by... I know I don't know why they call him Char, and it's spelled Cheer. But yeah, that's nice. And basically, there's good old Char. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that, because yeah, C82, and there's a little picture of that little box right there from Takata. That's for the 1985-86 edition. Um... The Target Master, I don't have the Target Master unfortunately, and I just want to show you inside here, you get that nice, you get cup, and unfortunately I didn't come with the Target Master his, and that waste of plastic wheelie over here, char and wheelie. So, let me go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Here we go. Put the box in the foreground, because we're done with it. I also wanted to show you, that's what uh, recoil looks like, see if the macro picks that up. So, unfortunately, this doesn't come with that. I wish I had the nice Target Master, but, oh well, you can't, you can't win them all, I guess. Hey, I guess that's what you get for 630 yen. Alright, this is the G1 version of C82 Char, or Cup, as we Westerners know it. So, it's a very simplified transformation. I'm just showing you a box right here. Uh, the iconic scene with Metroplex and Rodimus and the... Predacons, Ultra Magnus, etc., etc. So it's a really small box, actually. So, and I just want to show you more unboxing. This is what it comes like. It actually has a little tech spec reader here. So if you wanted to read in the back, his tech specs. There it is. I hope you're not colorblind, but there you go. That's not too bad. That put the box in the back here because we're done with that one. Yeah, uh, so here's where it comes with the box. Uh, besides the tech specs, there's probably something else. This is re the regular version, not the Target Master version. So we'll go ahead and remove that. So that's it, basically. Let's go ahead and transform this. Uh, for the vehicle mode, but uh, well, first let's just go ahead and play around with that while the box just falls down. And there we go. Let me go ahead and zoom in. There we go. It rolls really well. But let me just show you the, the differences between the two. Here's the uh, target, or the other version right here. Weapons are identical. The only way you can tell is that this one on the left is a little older. So maybe it's not nearly as sparkling blue. So just set those over here. Side by side comparison, I'll just show you this is the Target Master version. So the cheer from 2005, the newer version. Of course, it'll be nice and more sparkly, but basically the color scheme is the same. Has the rib symbols. The only I had to actually look because they had the stickers besides the Target Master, which I wish I had. The stamp is even identical. This is the new version, and it says the same thing as the 1986 version. Oh, only this one is made in Japan. This one is made in China, so that's one way of telling them apart. But I actually had to look to see that the only differences are in the wheels. This one's a darker one. That one's a more br brownish tint with some painting, I guess. This is more glossy, and that's just plastic. And this is what really trips me out. The front wheels for the old version, the 86 version, is plastic, but the... Eight, two, or 2005 version has rubber wheels so good on it so that's the only way I can tell them apart I'm going to transform both of them because basically hey they're the same thing really easy just pop the pop the back over here let me go so I can focus real quick pop the back down 
all right and just hit the bonnet up rotate it 180 degrees he's got a backpack oh yeah before we do that let me pull his uh yeah first thing we should have done is remove his arms here because that will make it easier and that's all right and these are a pain in the rear just like any other transformation all right there we go pop the arms out beautiful and they actually fold in like this so put the bonnet 180 degrees down flip the backpack all right there we go and basically close his leg down and push I can never get this right Ugh. I think I push the legs out and voila beautiful all right so it's a basic figure it doesn't have much on the way of articulation they got a shoulder articulation which isn't too bad shoulder joint like that wrist actually has a wrist articulation so that's not too bad let me put his gun right here so you got a wrist swivel weird hinge on the elbow and shoulder articulation the head does move up and down and that's about it and I love his old old man face <laughs> and this is what I don't like about it the back it's like half a head what's where's the rest of his head oh well you can't win them all I keep seeing that so you got a molded fist this is 1986 so it's not that different or not different there you go that's good old that's good old old man cup there in his all his glory this is this is rest talk and i'll catch you all later